of the top high school football teams in the state will meet in Cleveland tonight. It's a huge game and it's so big it's worthy of a NFL venue. So of course we had to send out our own Rob Powers. He's out at First Energy Stadium live to begin our team coverage of this very big milestone. Hey Rob. What an atmosphere. Menor and St. Ignatius kick off in a little less than two hours, Courtney. Two perennial powers, not just in the area, but in the state, the region, and the whole country for that matter. And for the first time in a long time, high school football returns to the home of the Browns right here at First Energy Stadium with programs that have such a deep tradition and fan bases and student bodies that are made for stuff like this. We should have one fantastic atmosphere for high school football tonight. Remember, the Browns will play the Bears on this very field tomorrow night. We could get some rain possibly later tonight, so keep that in mind. We'll have plenty more in the next half hour uh, and a half live from the stadium as this this afternoon rolls on and to help us set the stage for the big game tonight. We go to News 5's Carly Massetti for a preview of what to expect out here on the field. Carly. Yeah, Rob, to say the least, these two teams have some history. This is the 27th meeting between St. Ignatius and Menor, the first at First Energy Stadium, though. And as Menor will tell you, you don't have to look too far to understand why this rivalry exists. With them knocking us out of the playoffs last year, it adds a little bit of extra motivation there going into it. The Menor Cardinals driven to avenge last season's three-point loss to St. Ignatius in the first rounds of the D1 playoffs. Our guys are, have been hungry from that point on, and it's good to be able to see that team again. And if recent history is any indication, tonight's game could very well come down to the final play. Dating back to 2019, the previous three matchups between the two rivals decided by an average of four points. It's an ultimate um, test of where you're at and what type of team you are, and, and they will expose your weaknesses, and I think it's the same way if you talk to those guys over there on West 25th. It, it's a very healthy, great rivalry between the two of us. The Cardinals are hoping momentum from its impressive week one victory over Canton McKinley transfers over to the First Energy Stadium field tonight. Very motivated. Of course, Iggy versus Menor, it's always a great, great game against, and especially at the Brown Stadium this week, it's just, uh, we're just so excited to play. Excited to play on an NFL field in what's become one of the best high school football rivalries in Northeast Ohio. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, I'm so excited. You know, just going out there having fun with my buddies. All right, and right over there we have legendary high school football coach Chuck, Chuck Kyle walking out onto the first Energy Stadium field for this big game tonight. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and you got to know these guys are pumped. A great setting for a game with so much emotion behind it. If you're interested in coming out and seeing the game for yourself, you can buy tickets online for 15 bucks. It's going to be a good one. Reporting live from First Energy Stadium, Carly Massetti, News 5. Carly, thank you so much. Now to give everybody an idea of just how evenly matched this series has been over the years, take a look at the all time record. These schools have played 26 times. St. Ignatius has won 14 games. Menor has won 12. They met twice last year. Menor won the week two battle, 28-26. The Wildcats, though, get revenge in the first round of the state playoffs, 35-32.